today we did a run workout. I um, downloaded this app to help me run, to help me track my running anyway, which is a blessing. I feel a little silly. There is this feeling of like, you shouldn't have to use technology to track your running, but it's helpful. So I'm not going to be hard on myself about it because <clears throat> you have to start somewhere and I'm a product of my generation. Anyway, this app is supposed to help you get to running a 5k. Uh, I don't know if I'll get there. I would like to, but I'm going to be gentle with myself and not hard. It's a beautiful day. There are clouds all over the place. Completely overcast sky, but everything else is pretty. The woods are pretty. Gil is peeing all over everything. The trail is pretty. Right now I am in the uh, cool down part. I've already done six intervals of one minute running. Let's say it was a light jog. It was not really a run. And then, oh, it's so tiring holding my arm up. And then one and a half minutes of walking. But there's some hills. It's a bit of a hill. So, pretty proud of myself. I'm a little sore from my past workouts throughout the week. And uh, definitely have not eaten enough protein. But we're getting there. Little by little. And if I don't be soft with myself where I need to be and take my time, I'm going to burn out and give up. And I don't want to do that again ever. So my first run of 2024 is finished and we're three months in. It's March 1st. Um, but yeah, feeling good. Gil is a faithful companion and just does it all right with me. He can run a lot faster than I can, so it's nice of him to be this patient. healthy as I should be, or as healthy as I could be, or as healthy as I want to be. <laughs> My truck hasn't even fully cooled down. Ah! Get back, Gil. Stay on your blanket, because you shed too much. You're a stinky dog. I think about teaching a child a new thing. You know, I have my nieces and nephews and I've taught them how to do different things. Even just down to doing a thumbs up. It takes a while for a child to learn stuff like that. The mechanics and doing something completely new and challenging themselves past the only thing they've ever known, it's extremely hard. And 
nobody should scream and, well not scream, but nobody should freak out at a child and or, uh, what is the word I'm trying to think of? Degrade a child for doing something completely new. And I have to remind myself that this, for better or for worse, or whether I like it or not, is, there's eggs for sale, is completely new to me. I did not grow up being taught that exercise was a priority for the sake of health. It was usually a priority for the sake of losing weight or pretty much, yeah, that was it. <laughs> and so I could be really hard on myself for running a 20 minute mile. I could be really hard on myself for having to do intervals. Ooh, this house is for sale. Or I could treat myself like a child who is learning how to be consistent in something for the first time. And I could be patient. So I'd like to be patient and push myself where I need to be pushed, but not do anything else. So I'm gonna try to do that. <coughs> Yay! The second run is complete. Um, we ran, I actually don't know how far it was. Um, it's going to be over a mile this time though. We did eight intervals of one minute running, one and a half minutes walking. Gilbert has been right alongside me as always. So thankful for him. He's tired though. You know, he's old. The boy is 12 this year, I think. Anyway, um, so we're in the cool down right now. And it was not the worst. Like, the only thing that I really had trouble with was my shins starting to hurt. And I am running on a trail, on a um, paved path in barefoot shoes. So that could be a problem uh, for me if I don't uh, like run on, you know, dirt trails. <laughs> so we'll just have to see how that goes moving forward. Um, but yeah, it was a good run. I might go to the gym and do some weight training at some point today, but I don't know. It's such a nice day out. I kind of just want to spend every minute outside. It's March 4th. Um, I've been the highest 70 today, so that feels pretty good. But yeah, second run done. Very feel I feel very feel um very feel if you know what that's from comment that you know where it's from <laughs> to stop we are now hiking to Blue Hen Falls me and Dan and it is one mile but it's like 400 feet of elevation or something I don't know I'll post what the elevation is because it's a short hike but it's not easy no 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 
Certainly not. Literally the first section, you just go straight up some stairs. Yes, there it is, the falls. So yeah, we're almost there though. I think we're halfway through. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this part that's coming up. Shoot. <laughs> Will I ever make a sound? Because people cry. Waving! We're all in the way. Yes, Queen. Cool yes, Queen. Did I even make a sound? Did I even make a sound? It's like I never made a sound. Never make a sound. On the outside. Alright, I'll try it from here. Oh, I'm nervous. The highway. You probably can't hear me, but I have not been running in days. I think last Monday, so it's been just over a week. A couple of reasons. I was becoming quite low energy because I was going to start my period and then I did start my period. Oh, hey. Sorry. It's okay. Um, so I wasn't working out. And then that was making me even more low energy. 
and then I did start my period and so I was like I'm not going running I don't know if you can hear me with these birds um And then when I was doing the photo shoot for uh, my jewelry that I've been posting on my Instagram. Gail, what is that? Yeah, don't eat that. I stepped on a rock or a bamboo shoot because I took some of the photos in this bamboo. I sliced like of oh, just a little more than a well, I think it, I don't know, probably a quarter inch incision, but it looks like a half inch, <laughs> feels like a half inch. It's very swollen and a lot of pain. And so I can like hardly walk. And what I can do is stretching, but I haven't been able to run. So I'm bummed, I'm very disappointed. Uh, and I've been hard on myself I've been so hard on myself that I've just lost motivation to do anything. Ain't it sad? Anyway, so yesterday was kind of a rough day. I was just in a, I was moody yesterday. I was having hormonal mood swings and not feeling well but I had a bunch of water before I went to bed and cooled down a little bit and slept relatively well. I had some weird dreams, but apart from that, you know, it really wasn't a bad day. It was just my attitude, but I'm awake now. It's almost 8 a.m. The sun is rising and I've been drinking too much coffee so I'm having my raspberry leaf tea. Coffee just messes with my cortisol levels too much. I'm not going to stop drinking it entirely, but I'm going to drink it way less because I drink a lot of espresso. And I'd be lying to myself if I said that it didn't affect me, but it really does. Um, yeah, this morning I'm just trying to be present-minded and peaceful and really take a look at my life <laughs> so I can maybe understand myself better and move away from some of my bad habits and toward good habits, replace them with good habits. Because I know that a lot of the negative things that I do or the things that negatively impact my life that's not what God wants for my life it's not righteous living and it's not healthy living so so I'm watching the sun come up and sitting here with my boy I was kind of irritated with last night and I felt very bad afterward. Why do I talk, why do I be mean to you sometimes? You don't do nothing bad. You're so nice. I love him. But yeah. And this always happens around when I start my period. It's just the way it is. It's a monthly battle. <laughs> <clears throat> but I appreciate knowing that I am like knowing my cycle being able to track it is nice because if I didn't understand why I was acting this way or what was making it easier to act this way I'd be very confused but it doesn't have to be so confusing now thankfully Anyway, today is going to be a good day, and I'm going to be easy on myself and take it slow. 
even though I don't want to, and even though I really kind of can't because I put off other things so many times. But I'm going to do with today what I have piled onto today. And that's quite a lot of things, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and it's my one day off this week. <laughs> Don't give me this side eye. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, something, I'm gonna share a little quote I heard about procrastination, if you wanna hear it. Procrastination, I'm gonna butcher this quote. Procrastination is, it was either the arrogance or the pride in believing that you can do tomorrow what God gave you the opportunity to do today. And that was kind of like, and I like, I heard that as I was actively procrastinating, so that's humbling. Anyway, that's something that's on my mind and something I want to remember. I'm going to get in the word of God and talk with him and write down my thoughts in a journal and finish watching this sunrise, which is beautiful in its own right for a small city sunrise. Mm -hmm.